So I've got to clean this carburetor. Hoping it's an easy job. Nope, right from the start. It's a star. Well, I gotta find the right bit. I mentioned in a previous video this is a weed whacker I got from a garage sale for three dollars and it was sputtering and stalling out on me a lot I had to keep pressing the uh, gas primer bubble to get it to stay running at all which tells me that the carburetor is probably dirty bugs are getting in my face um, there's a lot of gunk on the bottom coming out of the exhaust, so it's probably not burning right either. Looks like it's going to be a very simple carburetor. Let me see. Choke, throttle. It's got an automatic choke mechanism on this. Okay. When I'm working on a machine like this and it's parts that are odd, I always put the parts in place on the table so that I can, without problem, I can easily figure out where they go later. Now I'm not familiar with this device, so I'm taking my time. Hold me if it's just a feel. I know there's another piece on there of the gasket. There we go. Now we got that. Just membrane gasket on the back. Very fragile things if you don't want to be rebuilding or buying parts. Ah, the fuel line broke. Okay, there was a, a small leak that explains that. That explains the little leak I saw. Hopefully it's long enough to fit. And that's probably the return. I don't know if I'll have any more luck with that piece. These fuel lines get old and they get really brittle. Ow! So is my finger. Yeah, that's not coming off neatly. It's not going to come off in one piece, I fear. Oh! Yeah, okay, this is not going to happen today. Oh! That fuel line has seen better days. Bummer. Well, <laughs> this job isn't happening too quickly today. Might as well cut it off now.
go get all new fuel line. We're gonna have to go to town and get all new fuel line anyway. Yeah, that one's split to pieces. Well, I gotta replace all the fuel lines before this will run. But I got the carburetor. Hmm, not much range of motion on the choke. Quite surprised. Guess it wasn't meant for winter use. I'm not going to attempt to peel that off. I don't want to wreck that. So I'm going to try to work on this carburetor and clean that at least while I uh, I'll get it cleaned up and then I'll have to go to town and get the fuel lines to finish the job. Hopefully there's nothing actually damaged. There's membranes in here. They're very basic carburetors. Weed whackers. I don't like working on weed whackers. I don't have a lot of success with them. What's fortunate with this one is the fuel line was accessible and the carburetor was accessible. So it won't be as bad as some of the models I've seen. Hi, baby cat. <laughs> My cat's up in the window. It sounded like she was outside. Well, that's the fuel pump, and it looks like it just shots fuel at me, so I think that's going to be okay. I'm really afraid to peel it off without getting a carburetor kit. screwdriver for that. Somewhere in here there's got to be a jet of some kind that's plugged up, is my guess. These fine little membranes on this These are such fragile devices. If you rip the carb, you're buying a new kit. Or if you rip the gasket, I mean. Well, I don't see anything visibly bad. I don't see any real dirt or anything. I'm wondering, you know what? I'm betting it was a fuel line. There was a leak in a fuel line and it couldn't get gas. I'm betting it was sucking air. That's probably it. This is clean as can be. I don't see anything wrong. I don't see anything at all. I think I'm going to blow it out with a little bit of carburetor cleaner and put it back together because there's really nothing here um, that's really, really clean. I bet the new fuel line is going to make all the difference. I just got home with the gas line and I tried it on for size to see if it would fit here. 
seems to have fit. All right, so I've got one line that's going to go into the carburetor on this side. Then I've got the other one that's going to come off the fuel tank. So hopefully it won't break the fuel tank. Uh, fortunately, the sun is shining. Oh boy, that broke right off. Yeah, that was shot. Fortunately, the sun is shining, I was going to say, and softened it up, but I am wrong. It didn't. Well, it did, but not enough. Oh, no. That one just broke off. Wait a minute. Where did this one just come from? Bummer. Well, this one just broke. Uh, wait a minute. What do I got going on here? Well, now I got this one hanging here. Broke. Where's that go? Wait, that was just sitting in there. I'm not sure. Well, that's not cool. Now I gotta figure out where that line goes. And I'm gonna replace this hose here that comes through from here in to the other side of the carburetor. I'll be back in a minute. Removal of the old fuel line, which is right here, is a nightmare. I have been working on it for about 20 minutes, getting it off the carburetor and the gas tank. I found out where that other line goes. It just jams into the gas tank, basically. But removal of this fuel line is just its terrible. I've been uh, cutting, snipping, pulling, twisting, working at it, trying to get it to come off. It's uh, quite a job to get that off. It almost looks like it goes up inside. It can't be. So the other fuel piece, the other piece of fuel line that fell out just inserts into a hole in the bottom of the gas tank. It just slips right in there. But I wanted to show you a little bit of how I'm struggling to get this off. And I don't want to break the gas tank because sometimes the uh, connector gets fragile with time. Wow, it's just really coming off piece by piece by piece, tiny little bits and pieces. I can't believe I can't get that uh, off of there. I'm sure there's probably some special tool or trick that the pros use, but I am struggling with that. That's why I don't like to work on small, small engines like this. I really don't like working on these really tiny ones because everything is so tiny. It can be frustrating to work with. Yeah, yeah, just piece by piece. I'm thinking that actually goes inside there somehow, actually, because it's not, uh, I don't know. It's not coming off. So, I'm going to continue working on that. just wanted to show you the struggle of getting the fuel line off. Well, that was a project and a half. I had to actually... It was crazy. I had to feed the hose. It, it, it doesn't really work the way it's supposed to. There was a little tiny filter piece up inside that... I don't know where, where it went. Oh, I think I found it. There's a, I might have to take the gas tank off to do this. This is not as easy as I thought. There's a little filter piece that goes onto the end of the hose up inside the thing. And that shoves down through here. It's quite a task. So 
I do think I'm going to have to take the shroud off and take the tank off, unfortunately. Let's see if this is the right screws. Oh, this one. Unfortunately, uh, the filter piece fell inside. So, and I don't see how the gas tank is fastened without removing the shroud. If I can get this in there. And I don't know if this is going to happen. deep those are. I don't know what kind of screws they are. If they're normal Phillips maybe. I would be lucky. No. They're not. I just wonder if I can get a normal screwdriver in there. Anyway, I've got to take the tank off now. It, okay, this is getting more complicated. I just pulled the screws out of this. I released that to loosen the tank. Then I had to pull this plate off, which is right into the engine. And then I can get the gas tank off so I can fix that problem. fuel line has to go into here a bit and then I have to press the fuel filter in from up above hold on sorry I have to somehow get the fuel filter in there from up top because the hose doesn't fit um, otherwise well maybe Maybe I can try to, I'm going to have to try to get the fuel filter into that hole <laughs> without being able to get my fingers in there and poke it through and then hold it while pushing the fuel line onto it. And then the retainer will slide up over that somehow. So that's the idea anyway. The retainer fits over this. It stops that from going through to a certain point. So anyway, I'm going to get that in there somehow. I, it's going to be a job. So I'm not going to bore you with watching me struggle with that because I can't watch the camera and try to get that in place at the same time anyway. So um, I'm going to work on that. I ended up cutting off that other piece that goes on the bottom to stop it from sliding back through. Uh, I just can't get it. It's just, I don't know how they do that from the factory. What I ended up doing is putting the filter on and then feeding it through from the inside out. It's, it's all I can do. It's the best I can do. I just can't, uh, I can't work with that. This is insanity. Press this back together. I just hope it'll run and not leak, not come undone on me.
It's an odd gasket on the bottom of this. I wonder if that's a rebuild. If this was a remanufactured unit or something, because that gasket is very unusual on the bottom. To stick out so far. I wonder if I'm going to reverse them. Yeah, the one's putting pressure on the other. I don't like that. Pressure on that. And that one goes through underneath, hopefully. Yeah, that'll work. This one goes into here. Something like that. Hope I don't cut it too short, because then it's not going to work. Okay. have to shorten it a little. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember if that went down like that or up and around. Of course I want to see it on camera afterwards. I think it went around like this. I think I cut it too short. Yep, it goes up and around. I think I'm in trouble. Well, it's got to go this way now. I got no choice. I cut it. And then another. Hopefully, I have enough pieces. Goes into there. It goes up into the tank, so I can't believe that it just goes in there, period, and then goes under the plunger. There's your primer. So yeah, that one piece of hose was a big one, the original. 
No, I don't remember. I'll see it on camera when I. Anyway, put a little bit of gas in there and see what happens, huh? Hope nothing leaks. So far, so good. Just gonna start it with it up in the air, but it's an awkward start, so I've gotta, um, I'm gonna have to take it down. I mean, I'm gonna start it with it opened up, is what I'm trying to say. But it's an awkward start, so I've gotta bring it down. See what happens. Weird start in this thing. Well, I've got no fuel leaks anymore. I might need a carb kit. Ugh. before I think that was it I think I've done it I think I've got it I'll give it a shot pause the camera put that back together and see what happens I think it's gonna be all right so that explains why there was a bit of a leak when I first got it it was leaking some gas which ticked me off or tipped me off to why uh, it wasn't running smooth. It wouldn't idle at all, and it kept stalling on me. So obviously it was getting air in the lines. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more gas in there, and we'll go over and... Uh, Try it out in the grass and weeds and see what happens. See if the operation was a success. Hope so, because I do not want to mess with that again. That was not fun. Be back in a few minutes. Now let's see what happens. dollars a fuel line and three dollars investment I've got myself an eight dollar weed whacker I'm gonna do some weed whacking I'm gonna get some safety goggles and uh, ear protection and I'm gonna trim along the fence line which is in desperate need of it